we knew that we were going to be um, dealing with COVID in the hospital this season on Grays. And when I heard that Meredith was going to get it, I thought, oh, that's brilliant and bold because look, the reality is that this um, is, COVID has touched the lives of millions and millions of Americans. And yet so many more are not necessarily aware of how, of the impact of what it looks like, of what it feels like, of how scary it is. And, and so for our heroine, for Meredith Gray, you know, to come down with it and give people who, who are, are not aware um, a sense of what it's like to be her doctor, her family member, her, herself, you know, her children, and, and witnessing their, their um, loved one going through this, I thought, like, this is, this is brilliant. I'm so proud to be part of this story. I know you probably are not going to be able to answer this, but is Meredith going to pull through? We end the last episode, and I'm like... <laughs> I can't answer. Well, I can't answer because I don't have any information. Like, I can't even honestly tease. I can't, I, I don't know the answer. I don't know. Honestly, I'm in as much suspense as anybody. I have no idea how that particular part of the story is going to pan out. And so we're all in suspense. Of, ugh, and, uh, and like the scenes on the yeah, it's just the, the scenes on the beach, seeing her reunited with Derek, it's like, ah, uh, you know, do we, yeah. we don't want her to die, but we like seeing this, <laughs> you know, so yeah, it's, it's, it's great. I think it's such a great ride for the fans this season. It really is, because I'm, that's the same thing. I'm very conflicted. I'm like, I obviously don't want her to die, but then her back with Derek, I'm like, oh my God, my heart. <laughs> Exactly. I know. It's great. It's look, it's great writing. What can I say? Great writing. As for behind the scenes, your show is obviously known for the romance, but how are you guys handling that during a pandemic? Yeah, that's a really good question. We have such great leadership on our show and our, our showrunner, Krista Vernoff, um, told us right from the beginning, you know, Bill Wright, scenes between love interests or, or people becoming love interests and where they might touch and have intimate moments, but that we're treating it like, um, you know, a consent culture. We, we actors have the opportunity to look at the script and, and um, determine, you know, whether that's something that we feel safe doing in this, you know, COVID environment. So we, um, there, we're, we're allowed to participate in that way. And, um, but other, but that said, our set environment is and feels quite safe. You know, um, we're tested on a regular basis, but of course testing does not, testing just gives us information. It doesn't like keep you safe necessarily, but, um, but between the testing and all of the protocols and sort of the honor system that we're holding each other to for how we conduct our lives outside of work, you know, we, we have created a pretty um, safe space at work. So, you know, you'll still get your smooching scenes and you'll still get your, your, you know, all of the necessary components to really engage in these characters' lives in the ways that we're used to. So, yeah. <laughs> now, you guys were one of the first shows to go back into production, I think in September, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So were you nervous returning to set? Like, what were you feeling after being in lockdown for a couple, you know, several months and then going back to work? Yeah, I mean, I was just really curious. It was like, you know, what will be different? What what in our day-to-day -day work schedule will be impacted by these new protocols? You know, will it slow things down? Will it speed things up? What what will these protocols improve in terms of, you know, being more sanitary and more careful and mindful of one another on set? Um, you know, we, 
the show must go on, right? So as actors, we're used to working with like terrible colds and, you know, or worse, you know, feeling terrible. And, and it's kind of um, nice to know that we're all just being much more mindful about our health. So we don't bring anything in and we don't, you know, and, and COVID or not, you know, and, and spread anything around on set. So, um, so I was just curious about how it would impact the day-to-day -day flow of things. But once I sort of understood what the protocols were, I thought, okay, well, I think this might work. And, you know, knowing that they've been proven in hospitals and other um, institutions, I, I know it would work. It obviously has been working. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there is so much going on this season, but there's also so much going on with just your character, Dr. Maggie. What can you tease? What can you tell us? Like, what are fans going to expect from your character for the rest of the season? Um, okay, let's see. Well, I can tell you that um, one of the things I'm enjoying so much about Maggie Pierce's journey this season is this budding romance with Dr. Winston and Dugu, who is played by the lovely Anthony Hill. Um, and that has just been so fun. And I can tell you that it, it gets richer and richer, um, but it will not be without its bumps. Of course not, of course. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we love to see it though. We love to see the drama play out. There's, it never can be just a smooth relationship because we're not here for that. We need the bumps. Well, that's not what life is. You know, people make mistakes and, you know, you gotta repair and come back together and come apart and, and that's, that's the good stuff. Exactly. Now, Grey's, it's on its 17th season. Do you see an ending in the future? Do you see it wrapping up? Like, what, if you could predict it, what do you think? I mean... It, it's so it's so hard to to predict because I would have predicted that the show would have ended. What show goes seventeen seasons? Like that's extremely rare, you know. I would have predicted it would have ended a long time ago. So uh, when you think about what what has kept it going all of this time, being these um, the characters like the OG characters Meredith Bailey Richard that we have been just watching on this journey for such a long time, but we can't get enough of them combined with all of the new blood that's been infused season after season after season into the show. Um, and, and the great writing, it's like, as long as there's still stuff to explore in the hospital with these characters, as their lives develop, as their careers develop, we could go on telling stories forever. Now, will, will we? I do not know. <laughs> that I cannot answer. Um, but, you know, I just, I think there, it's, it, 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 there's so many rich resources of story within the world of Grey's Anatomy that it could go on, but, you know, we'll see. 